Cicadas are known for their distinctive songs and periodic appearances, but when they get infected by a fungus called Massospora, things take a dark turn. This fungus changes their behavior and appearance in ways that are hard to understand. Understanding how Massospora manipulates its hosts is a real challenge. Scientists have been studying this fungus for years, but it's still not entirely clear how it works. One thing is certain, though. The fungus has a profound impact on the cicada's behavior. Infected cicadas start acting strangely, and their bodies undergo some pretty bizarre changes. The implications of this fungus are far-reaching, affecting not just the cicadas themselves, but also the ecosystem as a whole. It's a complex relationship that's still not fully understood, but researchers are working hard to unravel the mysteries of Massospora. By studying this fungus, scientists can gain insights into the intricate web of life and how organisms interact with each other. The life cycle of Massospora is pretty complex. It starts as a spore that infects a cicada, then grows inside the insect's body, eventually killing it. But before that happens, the fungus takes control of the cicada's behavior, turning it into what's often called a zombie cicada. These infected cicadas fly around, spreading the fungus to other cicadas, and the cycle starts all over again. As the fungus grows inside the cicada's body, it begins to alter its behavior. Infected cicadas will often fly higher and farther than usual, which helps spread the fungus to more cicadas. This transformation into a zombie cicada is a key part of the fungus's life cycle. The cicada's body is hijacked, used to spread the fungus to other potential hosts. The transformation process is pretty shocking. Infected cicadas undergo a radical change, their bodies becoming zombie-like as they continue to spread the fungus. This fungus also interferes with the cicada's mating rituals, which is crucial for their survival. The fungus essentially turns the cicadas into vectors for its own spread, disrupting the normal behavior of its hosts. The impact on the cicada's mating rituals is significant. Normally, cicadas use their songs to attract mates, but infected cicadas can't do that. Instead, they just keep flying, spreading the fungus to other cicadas. This disruption has a ripple effect throughout the ecosystem, highlighting the complex relationships between species. So to sum it up, the relationship between Massospora and cicadas is extraordinary. The fungus has evolved some amazing adaptations to ensure its own survival, and the consequences of this infection are complex and far-reaching. It's a remarkable example of how organisms interact with each other in the natural world. If you've made it this far, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Leave a comment below and let me know what you think about these zombie cicadas. Don't forget to check out my other videos on fascinating nature phenomena.